Hey there folks, John here with Through My Lens, and I am doing another gear video. It's been a really long time since I've recorded one. I've been very busy in the past year, and I've been doing more photo reviews uh, than I have video reviews. Haven't really done any video reviews, but today's uh, subject really does lend itself to doing a video. Uh, so I'm out here on my back deck, so you're probably going to be hearing uh, some noise, uh, so I apologize for that. But uh, I thought the lighting was a little better out here, and, and uh, it was just going to be a better stage to record this video. Uh, what we're going to be taking a look at, look at today is two options for storing magazines that you would want to use for whatever rifle or shotgun system that you might use. Now, a lot of us have uh, AR-15s, AK-47s. Uh, maybe even uh, Sega 12s for as long as the government's going to allow the, uh, the people to have them. Uh, as of this date, uh, no assault weapon bans or, or magazine bans have been put into place as a result of the uh, tragedy that happened in uh, Sandy Hook, Connecticut. Uh, but uh, it's probably coming. So, uh, but for those of us who have those weapon systems and have magazines for them, uh, you may have thought, well, what do I what do I do if I ever get into a situation where I have to have multiple magazines? And uh, some form of a bag makes a lot of sense for me and my philosophy of use, uh, to borrow one of uh, Nut and Fancy's phrases. Uh, I figure that uh, if, if I'm in a situation where I need more than one magazine, the magazine that I, that I keep in, in the, the firearm, uh, then I'm probably going to need a lot and I'm going to want to just be able to grab it and go and that's what one of these options would be used for. Uh, on your left we have the LA Police Gear uh, Zombie Hunter Bag. Uh, and on your right we have Maxpedition's Active Shooter Bag. So uh, let's take a look at them individually and I'll kind of compare them and explain uh, uh, why I use one versus the other. Okay so first we're going to take a look at the Maxpedition ah. Pardon me, I can't speak. Long time since I've done a video. Uh, we're going to take a look at the Maxpedition Active Shooter Bag. And uh, again, I bought this particular bag. I've actually got a couple of these right now. Uh, but I bought this primarily to store uh, AR magazines. Uh, it has four pouches on the front. And keep in mind, this, this particular bag, the Active Shooter Bag, comes in two different configurations. Uh, it comes in one that has uh, these four magazine pouches, two for pistol, two for AR magazines. Uh, it has these uh, sewn in to the, uh, to the bag. It also comes with an option that's a little cheaper that just has molly on the front that you can mount your own uh, pouches on there for, for whatever you want to use it for. Uh, this, uh, you know, I, I thought about getting the molly version, but uh, when I looked at the prices, it looked like it was going to be cheaper uh, for me to just get the, the version that had the magazine pouches sewn in and, and, and on the, the bag already versus uh, sourcing uh, molly pouches and mounting them myself. So uh, uh, this is the cheaper way to go. It may not be the most flexible way to go if you think you'll be doing some changes or, or want a flexible bag to use. So in the uh, pistol magazine pouches. I've got a couple of uh, M&P pistol magazines. Uh, these are 17 rounders. All loaded up and ready to go. They just Velcro nice and secure, kept in, like so. And uh, these pouches contain uh, Magpul 30 round uh, AR magazines. Uh, there are two interiors uh, interior zipper pouches to this. Uh, one of them here, uh, it's going to be a little difficult to show, but uh, it does have, uh, uh, it is lined such that you could use a uh, hook and loop mounts to, to put a, a holster in here. Maxpedition actually sells a nice one, of course, a holster and maybe even a couple additional magazine pouches. Uh, but uh, uh, you could put a, a, a pistol in here if, if you wanted to, or there's room to put other things. Uh, but uh, I don't keep anything in there. I figure I'll have a pistol with me. 
or at my side if I if I go to this. Uh, in the main zipper compartment, what I have are additional uh, AR magazines. Uh, I've I've comfortably fit eight uh, uh, AR magazines. You might be able to squeeze another magazine or, or two in here. Uh, I didn't want it too tight, uh, so that if, if I were in a uh, bad situation that I'd be fumbling trying to get the magazines out. So I kept it a little loose. But I've got uh, eight uh, additional AR magazines in here. And get this closed up. That's really all the bag has. There's no molly back here. Uh, there is a compartment in here that kind of contains the additional straps uh, for this. It, it is designed so that uh, you can use this shoulder strap. Uh, and there's a strap in here that could go around your waist, so potentially you could wear this uh, if you needed to. Uh, I wanted a solution that's more grab and go, and that's going to be one of my only uh, complaints about this is that it doesn't really have a, uh, a dedicated sewn-in handle to grab it. Uh, I've got the shoulder strap uh, wrapped in such a way that it, it is now a handle. So I can pick it up by this. It's kind of, it's kind of self-contained in here with some, some Velcro straps. And it, it, it works okay that way. Uh, you're, you're kind of restricted that you can use this either as a shoulder strap or wrap it up as a handle. I'd rather see a dedicated sewn in handle. They've got room, they've got, they could have put one on here. Uh, I was kind of disappointed they didn't. Otherwise, the construction is excellent. It serves exactly the purpose that I wanted. Um, and it functions, functions very well. Uh, Maxpedition, of course, makes great stuff. Uh, this, uh, this functions exactly as, as I would want it to. Now let's take a look at the LA Police Gear Zombie Hunter Bag. Okay, so here we have the LA Police Gear Zombie Hunter bag. Uh, and for the money, this is a really nice bag. It's a little bigger than the uh, active shooter bag. The active shooter bag is quite uh, compact and self-contained. Uh, this one's a little big, bit bigger. I needed that for the purpose that I'm using it for uh, because I'm using this to store uh, uh, Sega 12 ammunition, shot, shotgun shells. But uh, here on the front, you've got uh, a name name patch or, or uh, you know a label some velcro here that you could put a any kind of label or name patch here there's also some molly so that you can attach uh, some different uh, 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 molly attachments here which is a nice nice touch uh, has some has some flexibility there uh, it has two pouches uh, on either side of the bag um, they happen to be real nice for uh, pistol magazines, uh, which again I have a couple of 17 round uh, M&P uh, pistol magazines in this one. Um, one slight knock, um, I probably ought to figure out a way to label these pouches uh, because I don't keep pistol uh, magazine pouches in both of them. So uh, uh, if you're just looking at the bag it would be kind of difficult to distinguish uh, which pouch contained the pistol magazine, which could be kind of disastrous in, a, uh, in an emergency situation. But uh, uh, this also, like the active shooter bag, has essentially two interior pouches. Uh, the first one that I have here uh, contains 10 round Sega 12 magazines. Uh, they fit very nicely. I can actually get one, two, three Sega 12 10 round uh, box magazines in this uh, uh, first chamber here, uh, which is exactly what I was looking for. If you own a Sega 12 and you're looking for a, a, a bag stored solution for uh, uh, box magazines like this, your choices are very limited you're probably going to have to repurpose another bag that was not designed specifically for these. Uh, and that is, in a sense, what I've done here. You find out this is an actually a pretty versatile bag that's designed to do this sort of thing. Not specifically designed for the Sega 12, but uh, it works great for that. Uh, in the other chamber here, uh, the other zipper chamber, I actually have uh, a 20-round drum. 
for the Sega 12. Uh, and it fits just perfectly in the secondary compartment. So, uh, really, really nice bag for, for what I'm using it for. I actually have, there's also some room, I've got another uh, five round Sega 12 magazine. This is the factory one. So uh, you've got plenty of room in here uh, for all kinds of stuff. And uh, the, the quality is definitely there. Uh, I'm surprised for the price because again, this is maybe a quarter of the price uh, of the, the Maxpedition bag. Uh, again, depending on where you get the Maxpedition bag from, there's lots of vendor sources for that. You can only get the LA Police Gear bag from LA Police Gear's website. But uh, there's definitely plenty of room in here for the magazines, and it does zip up pretty comfortably. Uh, it works great for what I want. Also notice that it does have uh, a sewn-in handle. I really like that, so you have both a shoulder strap uh, and a handle, which I really like. Um, it's basic in some senses, but uh, it also just has what you need. Um, and it is a little bit, uh, a little bit bigger. Here is the add the shooter bag again by comparison. Um, and you can see the this bag a little bit bigger but not much. So um, there you have it. There's two options for uh, magazine storage solutions that are real good grab and go. You know, if an emergency situation happens, you can get to your, your ammo and your magazines quickly, which is something that I was looking for. <clears throat> I've got a couple of these active shooter bags with AR magazines uh, and a couple different places in the house. Uh, I've got one with my Sega 12 stuff here, uh, the Zombie Hunter bags, uh, and I've got, uh, I've actually got two of these as well, uh, with one of the other mag bags has some other ammunition in it, but uh, some great solutions. A uh, little bit different. Price is definitely going to be a diff different. Uh, you can get this bag for, I want to say around 25, 30 bucks shipped from from LA Police Gear. Whereas the active shooter bag, uh, you if you hunt real hard on eBay, you can find it, uh, or or Amazon, uh, you can find it about 70, 80 bucks. The version that has the the magazine pouches in it. Um, so again, it's. Uh, it's probably four times the price of, of this bag. And by the way, if you want to use this for AR magazines, you most certainly could. It's got plenty of room for that as well. Uh, so just a couple different options for you. Hope you enjoyed this video. Um, you know, if I get a good reaction for it, maybe I'll start making some more videos again. Uh, winter time seems to be a good uh, good time for that since I'm not out uh, as much as I am during the summertime. So definitely let me know in the comments if you've enjoyed the video and if this is something you want to see more of. Take care, God bless, we'll see you in the next video.